It's the Quora Boys. We're back another week at the Yo. Quora Raiders podcast. What's going on? <laughs> I'm Jeremy. This is Alex. We got a live show coming up. This is our last episode before the live show. Please come to it. It's in New York City. It's on August 5th. We've got our best chorus for it. We're really excited, and needless to say, if you don't come, the blood is on your hands. The blood is on your hands. No further explanation necessary. We have a very exciting guest for you this week. This is a legendary comedian from the County of Kings, the Falling Out <laughs> Super Podcast Zone, Lawson Leong. Lawson, hey, welcome to the show. What's up, fam? Thanks for having me. I mean, I've been called a Park Slope legend before. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. You know, it's it's a, th- a thing that... I definitely didn't start <laughs> and continue to this day. Yesterday when we were doing an episode, I was saying you should start a court show called Rule of Lawson. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And you should be a Judge Lawson on it. Oh, yeah. oh, and this is reminding me. I sent you all those pictures in Japan of the Lawson yes. store. Hell yeah, fam. I'm, <laughs> I'm huge there. You're Hell huge. Yeah. Like, your name is there. up yeah. in lights. I fought New Japan Pro Wrestling. <laughs> I sent you those. I got no response. I was like, I've really upset oh, Lawson. <laughs> By showing him that his name just, is up You know, in I just did the thing where I looked at it and enjoyed it and then said nothing back. <laughs> Alex thought that <laughs> like they, like, friend. they, they Zuckerberg'd you out of the business <laughs> and that you brought, uh, you know, he, he brought shame to you. I want you to know now that I enjoyed them all. I just forgot hmm. to respond in any way. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is like uh, the, the original guy who missed out on CVS, this deal. Mm. Because is that a thing? Kind of, that's the kind of store Lawson is. Oh. Uh, well... No. Is there a CVS guy? I don't know. Dwayne don't know Reed is uh, Dwayne Reed is the two, rock. It's I think, a right? it's two um, yeah streets. Yeah. Two streets. Dwayne huh? Street and Reed Street. Oh. I think. Dwayne Reed. By or the it's way. a guy. I don't fucking know. Sounds like a guy. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I know so few things. Is Maybelline a person? Jeremy. I don't know. Okay. What is that? Is that a store? Maybe no. it's Maybelline. It's a fr- fragrance? Now, wait. Here's the question while no women are in the room. What is yeah. Maybelline? I really don't know what that is. <laughs> I It's it's a per- perfume? It's a or perfume? It's perfume. Isn't it? Parfume? Par- parfume. <laughs> like yeah. how a pirate says yeah, it? Yeah, it exactly. Parfume is like if your perfume is just okay. Par. It's for par. Parfume. Yeah. yeah. The average I fume perfume it. is par. parfume. <laughs> They're down the road. I smell our perfume. <laughs> Yours is better than ours. We're doing like a golf pun. You get to do a silly voice. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. Ahoy. Ahoy. What is Maybelline? Parlay perfume. Mm, the second I find out what Maybelline is. <laughs> Where be the Maybelline? <laughs> it's over for the British Navy. I'm like, this hiding. is a pi- the new character pirate who talks with like Twitter slang. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing in this situation? <laughs> a buccaneer on your ship. Mm, what that hook do? I love what that hook do. I love oh. Pillaging and plundering and being totally based. <laughs> what is a group chat? Or what is a pirate ship if not a group chat? Yes. In the olden days. The face when oh, your it's... first mate commits a mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone he have a link face. for Blue Sky? Oh, by the way, by the way, if you are not watching on the YouTube, he did I a made face. a face. <laughs> it wasn't just the, the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad we got all that out of the way. That was important. Was. Um, Lawson. Uh, Do you think that the, sorry, real quick. Okay. <laughs> no, One last pirate joke. <laughs> yeah, please. Do you think that the um, the British equivalent in that are like the blue check people talking to Elon? Who are there like, <laughs> yeah. the, the pirates are like, you know, show me what that hook do. And then the British people are like, good idea, sir. I love your <laughs> your new plans. Admiral, ban him. Admiral ban this e- man. Admiral Elon, I love your new idea to, to make ships cool again. Excellent. Commodore blue check. <laughs> so many pirates have been trolling me on the seas. <laughs> Excellent vessel, sir. You've done it again. Back to what I was saying. So, yeah, Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about again? <laughs> have, you, have you been on Quora? I have. I've been on Quora a little uh, bit. Oh, great. A little bit. So the show Fun. is we read Quora. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I didn't know that. He it, said lying. It's an academic show. <laughs> we don't make fun of it. A lot of people think we make fun of Quora. We just read it. I really right. don't feel like I'm always making. I'm more using the questions as prompts. Right. Yes. To then express myself through my well, art. Don't say that. That's like the. That's like explaining how podcasts work to people. That's like revealing oh, the no, magic fuck. of it. Well, 
know. And I want them to know if how the start doing that. Works. Then they can learn that they can do it. I'm anyone their only friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people to think that it's anyone can do a podcast. No, okay. there's only like 20 podcasts in the world. <laughs> yes. First of all, it from couldn't. It couldn't be farther from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a, a real soldier to put this kind of stuff out. I'm sorry. A new podcast called Podcast Gatekeeper. This yes. is the about just where gatekeep podcasts. Yeah, every people. episode you listen to a new podcast and you say you should end this. Thumbs up or thumbs down. It's like yeah. a really negative yeah. Shark Tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. come in negative. and they're like, I, I talk about movies, and you're like, there's a million of those. Yeah, <laughs> what do you bring to the table? Oh, well, I'm, I'm doing one about The Office. Kill yourself. <laughs> I, I just, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> we're we're the ladies, and we were in the office. I just, Isn't it funny good. that nah. there's like, um, I think like some of the other Office cast members have their own podcast about The Office and they're not the Didn't most popular it. one. Of course Didn't not. Like, that's so grim to me. That's really, There's yeah. three of them, I think. Like Kevin from The Office has his own Office podcast and right. it's like... You're Why would you listen show. to that one? No. Yeah. Why would you listen? Have you seen the show? Kevin is like not anyone's favorite on the show. No. no. He he went to my college to do stand-up like, oh, the year after I graduated. Go. What's up? I know Kevin from the office. I never know. I didn't I'm, see him. I'm best friends with Kevin from the. He's I, um, always saying this, folks. We were in uh, we were in math class together. Oh. <laughs> Me and Kevin. You should shoot off your answers. Yeah, okay. he's really dumb. Is the uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, mean to say, but Kevin from the office is like low key kind of dumb. He's dumb, low key, on the on the sly. All right, uh, let's read some Quora. I I, I I was just even trying to remember, like, what we're talking about. We're reading Quora. Every week we ask a Quora. So um, I I honestly have no memory of what the fuck we asked. Oh, we didn't even make a playlist. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Oh, yeah, shit. Who cares? We'll just just go through it. Oh, oh, God. Okay, so the question is uh, from uh, Amber Flannery Field. Uh, will I get a chance to see my son ever again? Now, this question hmm. is more abstract for us. Yeah. As we have yet to produce an heir, and that is a big issue in monarchy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you imagine Alex with a son? I That'd can. Be fun. I, I don't can know. I feel like a real daughter pilled. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm just shooting X's down here. <laughs> yeah. You're a tic tac toe, Alex. I can't explain just, why. <laughs> I'm just shooting straight X's. Straight X's bro. I'm just, it's like a, your allyship is ranked, I think. Mm. And yeah. that's like what oh, I Oh, you're yeah. such an ally that you can't have a son. I can't even have can't a son. Have, that's I how little you up. support the patriarchy. You refuse to support the patriarchy yeah. even with your own cum. Interesting. Honestly, if a doctor was like, congratulations, you're, you're going to have a son, I would just throw up. Yeah, oh. that makes I'd sense. Throw up right yeah. then and there. Yeah, you're like I a reverse had... Sparta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what. In happened. what way? Because Sparta, they would get rid of the girls. Right? Uh, They'd be like, "No, we don't need that shit." But oh, you're. Yeah. This is how the woke mob has destroyed our strong species. <laughs> this is how they've destroyed Sparta. <laughs> um, having a son, abort it. Okay, so will I get a chance to see my son ever again? I guess the question no. is if I have one. And so uh, we're going to see what Quora said. Uh, we didn't get any answers from real people. We just got, well, not to say that our, our listeners are fake people. You're but. real and you're valid. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, we got one from this guy whose name is Carlos who didn't put scrambled eggs. He said, nope, never. You don't deserve him. Now, so Carlos, I mean. don't know where this is coming from. That's pretty mean. Yeah. There's a lot of negativity there, and I we agree. do not deserve it. We are yeah. proud fathers. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to close that. Uh, I found some... Um, we'll do better to, today. Is that a Frasier reference, by the way? Do they, ta- do they eat eggs on Frasier? I don't remember. Does fr- I never watched Frasier. Why <laughs> would you say that, then? Because <laughs> it's like... Doesn't he say, like, uh, he eats... Something salad and scrambled eggs, in his jazz song. Yeah, is that what it is? I in the intro. Oh man, now we're <laughs> all right. Now um, we're just like really opening our vulnerabilities to Fraser lore in a way we, that's really dangerous. We simply must move on. Yeah, I was just yeah. so much more comfortable with the pirates because I know more about them than Fraser. That's true. Also, live action One Piece coming out. Anyway, slam the Quoker <laughs> button. We're doing Quoker today. Oh, There's no shit. playlist. There's no so we're just going. Uh, we're just going raw. Nope. There it is. Uh, this is our Incel and Manosphere segment. You might know this theme song. 
Uh, a, little, a little bit. It's, it's, the, it's the Joker's <laughs> theme song. It's, it's the Quoker. <laughs> and this is like if the Joker was on Quora, so it's the Quoker. You might recognize this song as um, from being What If the Joker Was on Quora. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what plays when he's typing. Yep. For okay, sure. so um, this is a appropriate question for you two boys. Who is better than Goku? Oh, uh, good question. It's like it's like uh, who better than Canyon for the wrestling fans out there? Oh, um, uh, who better than Cage? Who better than Goku? Who is better? Than who Goku? is who better than Goku? Than Goku? Who better? Hmm. Now, a little I'm someone say, named Jesus Christ. That's what. Yes. I, okay, so all the comments are going to be the Lord, uh, the Lord, other anime characters. Right. But I think we should first tackle who is better. Than what is Goku? better? I'm mean? gonna go on a limb and say the Prophet Muhammad. Okay. That's I'm gonna go. With and that. Alex is gonna put a photo I don't of actually him. No, yeah. Uh, You're gonna put an image on the YouTube. I, I, actually, I can't <laughs> usually find one, but I I can like draw it's one. Hard, in. It's hard to find one. It's difficult to find. But um, head, head to the YouTube to yeah. see that image. The thing is, um, Goku provides almost no civil service. I think maybe firefighters, uh, yeah. the mailman. Yeah. Mm. Um, waste removal sure. people. This might be controversial, but um, fucking go on, bitch. How about okay. that? I, so we got I Jesus. Hold on now. We've got mailmen. That? We've got waste removal people, and we have Gohan. Gohan, Gohan. <laughs> who works my at king. the bank. Or my, something. my pacifist. King. He's like a scientist or something. It's really it? not clear what Gohan does. What he what he does is not pay attention to his daughter and have Piccolo uh, watch yeah. her instead. <laughs> Which he learned from his father. Yes, he did. Now, my question for you guys is what what is what do you mean by better? Like, because I think right. the question probably means fighting wise but i think we mean morally right when i yeah. put the word goku martin in, luther king <laughs> martin luther king <laughs> and was, his son yes he was also did a lot yeah him too <laughs> martin luther king jr yeah. in catholicism we believe martin luther king and his son are the same person <laughs> martin luther just yeah. martin luther and the holy <laughs> civil rights ghosts <laughs> they're all the same um but the thing is, Goku is so strong, strong <laughs> that I don't think a lot of people could mm. beat him in many ways. True. I mean, Goku did save the Earth a couple times. He did, and then yeah. there is a you know reciprocal effect of right. like how many times did he save the Earth before it was like kind of his fault the Earth was even in danger in the first place sure. because really? of how many times he did. Saved MLK Jr. Earth? ever save the Earth? He well, tried. in a way, in a way, in a way, he in did. In his own way, in his, he had a dream. Sure. He had sure. Genjutsu in his dream. <laughs> yeah, which is illusion magic. He By the way, <laughs> I'm sorry that this has made it onto the core <laughs> <He had> show. <laughs> but, <laughs> Alex Patek says MLK Jr. had Genjutsu. Every yeah. Look it up. Put that on a shirt. Read a book <laughs> for once in your life. This man's cultured. People are always like misusing MLK's quotes. You yeah. know, like all sides of the political spect- spectrum are misattributing his Genjutsu. Yeah. I don't know how to use that word. There's a real impression to be done here of no. MLK Jr. Doing, 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 doing Oh that. my Woshinderu. <laughs> He got assassinated before he could complete the moon's eye plan. I think that was part of it. Really deep cut. Everybody. I don't know any of these things, but I like the specifics. I just like hearing it. Yeah. Uh, I, I I keep wanting to talk about more about I, MLK. I, 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 That's not the prompt. The prompt. No, the question through. is who is better Mother than Mother Teresa. Uh, isn't she like kind of bad? She got reverse canceled. Yeah, yeah. She, wait, uh, she's over the hill. She got straight up regular canceled. Regular, she got, she got like regular canceled. We canceled. She was <laughs> Mother Teresa. <laughs> she was grooming and Gandhi. Yeah. It was Gandhi and Mother Teresa got that got canceled as well. post canceled. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Wait, no, no. Gandhi. Gandhi's been canceled a while. The thing oh, about Gandhi is like England should still own India. So all those people who said Alex that, Patak <laughs> says, <laughs> "Quote: England should still own India." Wait, Wait a it's, it's, uh, all, all of his work in ending that was a big problem for that's, me. That's the thing we canceled him for. Yeah. Specifically, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I didn't like about him. That, you might be thinking of the Dalai Lama. Yeah, that's that was the one where they were like, what? I thought, I thought he like kissed a young thing. boy on the yeah, lips. Yeah, that was that And people was were like, you can't be doing that. I guess Dalai the Gandhi Lama. thing was longer ago than I. The Gandhi thing was a while ago. What, 40s, 50s? Yeah, it's not a while ago. Gandhi's peak. Well, he also famously loves uh, nuclear missiles in the game Civ. Yeah. Right. Oh right. Yes, of course. Yeah. That's so, true. That's that's beautiful. bad. All right. And that's I'm gonna gaming. I'm gonna narrow this conversation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who is better than Goku? Gotten Saitama. somewhat haywire. Um, Saitama. Maybe I don't even. So who do we think. have so far? We've got Go- Jesus, Gohan, Gohan, Gohan firefighters, mailmen, Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. Not Gandhi. Not Mother Teresa. Not Mother Teresa. Saitama. 
<laughs> I don't know who that is. He's the one punch man. One okay. Punch. And the reason he wins fights is because his, the you gag can punch is really he, hard. Yeah. He wins in one fight. I'm going to say Neo punch. from The Matrix. Sure. Okay. Because uh, he's Keanu. Yeah. yeah. It's just, oh, yeah. Checkmate, Goku. <laughs> I don't know. Keanu Has loses Goku sometimes, Keanu? though. And Goku kind of sure. never yeah. does, though. I mean, did Goku ever. I guess he banged out Chi Chi, but he didn't bang out Trinity. Is that how we're. <laughs> I don't even know what we're saying. Okay, we have to let's read some comments. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Let's see. For me, Daddy Goku is number one for me. He always right. makes me happy. That's a really good point. For wow. me, Daddy Goku is number one for me. I'm always saying that. Is anybody? That was what she does. I think that? the best person is who makes you happy. And so one yeah. person Goku posted a photo one. of their dog. Oh, that's nice. Which is a great answer. Yeah, my freaking dog is. Better I mean, than a him. lot of dogs are probably better than Goku. I agree with that. Um, let's see. Somebody does say Chi Chi. Mm. Heart disease beats Goku at one point, so I guess Doctor Fauci. True. Doctor <laughs> Fauci is better than Goku. Who is better than Goku? Doctor Fauci. <laughs> yeah. That's. A, I've been waiting to say that on coordinators. <laughs> That's been a long time coming. All right, we can end the podcast. <laughs> That's um, it's kind of been a, uh, a long road to the mech here. that they make at the end of Gurren Lagan. Someone okay. said Princess Peach, especially if she's in Luigi's outfit. What does that mean? She's what does hot? that mean to it's you? Something, it's something horny. Someone says Vegeta. F- uh, factually wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Simply never true. All right, that's uh, enough of that question. Let's move on. It's wrong. We can't. We I can't mean, Piccolo is a better like, father. Okay. Well, we had to do that one. Yeah. This feels like it's in the wrong. Section. This feel like maybe it's core romance, but oh no, maybe not. Anyway, what kind of mandatory minimum should be put in place when an ex girlfriend falsely accuses you of a crime? I see why you say that. Yes. Oh, mandatory. But because, no, you're right because it's an ex girlfriend. So then you would have a girlfriend first. No, but this is an incel question. But this is a question you write when you've when you've sworn committed off a crime women forevermore. <laughs> yeah. Right. When you're, uh, <laughs> when, yeah. When you factually committed when a crime. When you're going then, your own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People know about that? The men going their own and way? Big Tao, baby. Big yep. Tao. Can we just. You can go your own way. Can we just <laughs> give a moment for all of the men who've been falsely accused of crime? <laughs> moment of silence? Moment of silence for them? Yeah. Mm. That's something you want to It's always good. You had to have a moment of silence on a podcast. <laughs> A great bit I to love include. For a My favorite thing was when I'm listening uh, to a podcast and I accidentally pause it without realizing, and I think they're just doing the weirdest bit for yeah. like a full minute. Oh, they yeah. got to cut that. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a big uh, big egg in the uh, soundboard yep. there. Um, well, what kind of mandatory minimum? So okay, wait, well, first before we get into this, I want to say, um, what crime? That's, what do you think the crime is? Oh, it's part. usually like you stole. Because like I feel like the main one is probably like a sex crime, but I want to uh, eliminate that because it's not fun to talk about. But let's sure. assume he's just like, yeah, he stole something. Yeah, he robbed from the bank. He stole all that money from the bank. Like, it's, I mean, if we, yeah, if we take that out, it's probably like some kind of... Jeremy, I thought he was so nice, but after we broke up, he stole, he robbed that bank. Or no, like I've been maybe falsely property accused of a crime. damage or exploitation. Sure. <laughs> Monetary exploitation. <laughs> my girlfriend yeah. keeps accusing me of arson. <laughs> I did not burn my down da- my own house. My damn ex money. is telling the police I cracked the Liberty <laughs> Bell. That was the British. Wasn't even close. <laughs> I'm French. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, mandatory minimums also usually just... Uh, well, that's like an amount of time you're in jail. So that's I, like, uh, yeah, if you're accused of a crime, if you get a, if you get convicted, you cannot go below that amount of time, jail time. Yeah. So I think the kind that should be put in place for uh, ex-girlfriend lies oh, is yeah. like the electric chair probably <laughs> yeah. if you're not if you're not an ex-girlfriend you just go to jail for like a month if right. you're a girlfriend previously mm. you must always tell the truth <laughs> yeah. yep. your power is too great that's the law it's is a spider-man the, situation who is yeah. better than goku ex-girlfriend. ex-girlfriends <laughs> they have who more lie. power than anyone else they ex-girlfriends lie. who lie <laughs> You can go your own way. For people who don't know, the men going their own way are incels who have decided that they've sworn off women like it's right. like they're on a uh, like a like keto a diet or something. Type of thing, yeah. Like yeah. you're like I'm off sugar. They're like I'm done with women. They become like monks, like yeah. uh, anime style monks. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I from, believe is the intention. From what I've read, they almost posit like a like a philosophy. Yeah, like it's mm. like you could 
w- wake up, men. <laughs> wake up, men. You can just be goaded by yourself, homie. Stop cuddles. Yeah. It does really <laughs> seem like a call to just a mass action of becoming gay, but that isn't what they think. <laughs> like, no, no, they're not gay. That's the thing. They're like, we are swearing off women and don't think about what we're, we're doing next. Hanging out at the gym in droves. <laughs> you are coming over my house and never seeing a woman again. Yeah, and we're going to watch Netflix. <laughs> Netflix has so many of today's top titles. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna stroke each other's knees gently. Oh, that sounds nice. As we take in okay. Puss in Boots. <laughs> um, okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything worth reading on this because most people are like, none. That seems ridiculous. It's, it's wrong to tell women they need minimums. Dixie L. Davis, which is a crazy name, who is a constitutional scholar, says the same kind of mandatory minimums that should be in place for men who falsely accuse their ex-girlfriends of falsely accusing them of committing a crime. Reversal! Reversal! Boom. Uno. Reversal! Uno Counter! Oh, shit! Counter! <laughs> Uno reversal. Ah! But then would there be a, a mandatory bitch. minimum for the yes. ex-girlfriends? Yes! Who falsely accused the boyfriends yes. of falsely accusing the ex-girlfriends yes. falsely accusing the boyfriends. Counter! Yeah. That's how we know. <laughs> That's how I'm we just know. yelling like fighting game. BGM reverse, by reverse. This point. It's so important to go your own Press way. Press triangle in Kingdom Hearts 2. Triangle. Yeah. <laughs> triangle, Don't triangle. play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> ah! Don't do it. Yeah. You're gonna end up friends with Counter Mickey. Spell. Counter spell. Okay, so right, yeah, I think that they should... I don't know what they should be specifically, but they should also go for men who are who lie about women lying. I do yeah. think it's funny the idea that like it's like, hey, uh, did you lie about this? Yeah, but are you his ex girlfriend? Nah, are you fine? Though? Think yeah, of yeah, how hard it would be. <laughs> yeah, think you of how just walk. lie about whatever if you're not his ex girlfriend. Yeah, who cares? Then? But if you use the date, go in a fucking no. chair. Think of how hard it would be to be a judge if this these kind of right. laws are on the books. You're yeah. a ju- you're like on a jury and you have to figure out whether or not they were actually dating because yeah. they only went on like three dates and they like did yeah. over the pants. First stuff. of all, it's I will like- need to know the defendant's body count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the 12 angry men. I'm the one juror who's just like, I don't think they dated. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the proposal. Just out. That's it. It's like the proposal, but for <laughs> a crime. <laughs> I don't think these two actually fucked. Yeah. <laughs> but kiss him right now. <laughs> kiss him right now. Kiss if, him right now. If you fucked. <laughs> I mean, if you sure he burned your house down, but yeah. my client <laughs> says that they fucked. <laughs> no but, cap. And yet, the defendant will not kiss him. <laughs> All right, um, it's let's sus. move on to another one. Yeah, I think we've really sus. exhausted. What if a pirate was on Twitter? Arr, it's that sus, really matey. makes you wonder. Remember when the movie Dodgeball just had a character who was a pirate? Yeah, that's yeah. funny. It's a good job. That's Bobby like Blazer. a good job. Okay. Um, So you added this one. Laser, blazer. My IQ is 210. I'm the third smartest person to ever exist. How do I monetize this? (laughs) (laughs) Jeremy told me this one before the show, and I cannot get over this. This It's a good question. (laughs) This cannot be real. Most of these people are like, I am the smartest man alive. What should I do? But this guy's like, how do I make money off of this? (laughs) I I gotta make money off of this. Now, all the answers are basically just like, "Uh, if you're so smart, why don't you figure it out? Which is like, I mean, that's a great point, though. It is a good point. It is a good point. But I think we should brainstorm. How can this guy make some cash? If he's doing the limitless thing, he should be like, I'm already the president, actually, so it doesn't matter. Um, All right, so how do you monetize being a really smart guy? Maybe have people ask you questions. Maybe mm, sell the answers. I mean, okay, so this is just maybe this is a little projection. What I do is I'd start a podcast. I know. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, thing. it's a big projection yeah. where you find questions and answer them. Maybe they're all in one convenient location yeah, somewhere on the internet. Somewhere, this is just how I would do it like a website that has all the questions consolidated somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who are the top two? I wonder. Einstein and that's Saz what gets me. Is he goes, uh, I'm the third to smartest to ever live. Yeah, that does imply that we're like supposed to know the first two, right? Yeah, or is it number one, Goku? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna oh, be. Does ever exist? He that's crazy. Exist. The IQ test yeah. was created like 20 years ago. Yeah, like, what the fuck? The I- IQ comes up on here every yes. third question. Yeah, it is most of the. Also, website. this person put like put. I'm the smartest, not I have the third highest IQ. Like No, yeah, off, third dude. smartest per- person Like, you're just ever taking exists. this in face value. Also, I don't believe his IQ is 210. Well, it person. is. <laughs> Why would he they took lie a about test that? that told him that. Do you uh, think, can would an IQ test ever lie to you to give you the ultimate test of, like, you should mm, know that you're That's so very interesting. Like, that's super big-brained. Yeah. Maybe. 
It's possible. So if you get a really low score, that's actually them hiding your true strength. See, like there's a lot of these of like, I have an IQ of 500. What should I do? I have an IQ of 148 and it is in the genius domain. I don't feel like a genius. Like, am I a genius? This guy's just like, how do I make cash? Yeah. yeah. What do I, how do I cash in on this? Okay, let's think of more I money. Like- Can we really just think of money ideas for five sure. seconds? Sure, sure. <laughs> and not worry about the fact that he got if scammed I, on IQ tests. We're all men in our 30s. <laughs> if I knew how to make money, boy, would I be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah uh, I'd mean, become a titan of industry. Crypto. Crypto. Get in on crypto, <laughs> yes. probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you do that thing where, uh, well, first of all, get a suit, right? You, you got to be. Yeah, I thought you've been. You gotta there. have a suit. Yeah. Um, I w- I think I would like try to join the circus. Like you know how they have like uh, the world's tallest man or whatever. Like you could like right. people ask you questions. Hit up Not even that. You just take the IQ test at the circus, and people like give you money to watch. Yeah. I'd have a strong woman behind me, so I could be a great man. Sure, yeah. that's a good yeah. point. There you go. There you go. So you're because, probably getting a girlfriend, yeah. like a truthful girlfriend. People yeah. have never really thought about that. That who lifts that interesting dynamic because it's like behind every great man is a strong woman. Mm. Right. So if you don't have a strong woman behind you, you it cannot ma- be it, a great man. It doesn't matter yeah. how smart you are; you are not going to make any money. So you that's cannot step one. be great. Get a strong woman. Get a strong. Yeah, because you're who lifts. Get a strong you're woman. too loveless. Yeah. Even Dude, if it, stop going your own way. Yeah. yeah. Step turn one. Back, turn around. <laughs> go back to where the jack. You were going the wrong way. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> the the papers over here, my good man. Men going the wrong way. Go I'm get go, a strong woman. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Men going the wrong way. Uh, Just yeah. a bunch of dudes who are lost on the fucking turnpike. That would be um, a great tweet. Lord. 2014. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Send that back in time. We're gonna yeah. get that back there. Um, Good, how can I monetize this? Start a Patreon. We we are all in on like <laughs> the clout economy. Yeah. Use you your do? massive First brain get to clouded. get clout. Yeah, I don't know. Become a super villain. Make yeah. a death ray. Definitely start on Quora. So Threaten to kill the government. Get like pieces. Oh, like oh oh, uh, donate your cum. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like, that's a good hey. idea. Hey. Well, don't donate it. Yeah. Sell it. Sell it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Come in too many jars. Yeah. Do over like, a, like two years. <laughs> do like a lemonade stand, but for your cum. Yeah. Where you're just yeah. like, high IQ cum, $5 a pop. Yeah. And then people can buy it and they can be like, oh, yeah, let me stick that well, in. The, the pussy. thing. Of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, don't be that's gross. That's how it works. Um, it's well, a cum stand. Can we. <laughs> If you're going to save cum over a long time, it's important that you keep it um, neutral so no bacteria grows on it. That means it either has to be hot or cold. Kitchen rules. Cold as fuck, so you can keep it on like a boiler or um, like Ooh, uh, just like a pan. I'm not pussy. boiling my cum, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't, I don't to keep it clean. <laughs> I started projecting. Lawson <laughs> wrote this question. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, put that one in. Let's see if we got some answers. How do I monetize for the person? My big ass IQ. No, uh, you don't want to boil it, but you want it to have like the steam coming off. Sure, okay. sure, sure, sure. If but it was me, medium hot, I would always freeze my cum if it was me. Okay, freeze it. You're freezing it. Freeze it. <laughs> if it <laughs> was me. Your cum. This is something you could do tomorrow. Lost. Get it to I a nice not. simmer. It's true. It's true. How, how do you know I have it, Alex? You don't know. That's this true. podcast I'm is like gross. Yeah, it's really yeah, gross. It's really I don't gross. feel like it used to be gross. Is that wrong? Has it been no, gross the whole it's time? It's been gross the whole time. Okay. All right. I mean, never mind. It's I've just developed some dignity <laughs> in my old age. We just took a week off. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at a lake for a while and said, is this what it's really all about? No more. <laughs> You looked at that lake, you saw your own reflection and said, no more. I, I got to stop telling people to boil cum. I could be better. <laughs> you got to boil your cum. You're like two days back in New York City. <laughs> boil it. <laughs> Keep it hot. If you're Keep not boiling hot. your cum, you're an idiot. <laughs> if you're not freezing your cum by the time you're 20, you're, uh, you're an idiot. But yeah. if you're not boiling it by the time you're 30, you're a dreamer. You might as well you're, be MGTOW. What's the, how does that work? You know what? Let's not even. <laughs> you gotta turn around, go back All to right. the So the answer is start a Patreon. The answer yeah, is start, a, start a lemonade stand for your cum. <laughs> sell it five dollars a pop. It's boiling. Sit Keep it in one of those like little... soup things where it's like yeah. stays hot. Sit Just a, with, like, a yeah. cardboard stand with like, a little baseball cap on. Yeah, crockpot. 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 
Just get a fucking soupy cum. <laughs> get read the next one, please. <laughs> okay, this one is um. Oh, I I I posed this question to Lawson. He said you must ask me this on the podcast. The question is: Can Asians survive for one year without eating rice? Now I'm going to interject and say I am against this question <laughs> <laughs> because it is wrong. It's clearly just mean? a racist. There's a person. lot How can of the question. Be wrong, Alex. There's a lot of there's Orientalism is steeped. <laughs> no. There's British maps. Yes. Alex oh, feels that um, the British occupation of uh, Asian countries was wrong mm. and that they should have gone specifically to India, India only. only. Well, oh, sorry, they, East Asia. The Indian subcontinent is, in fact, a large part of Asia. It's and true. Without that meddler Gandhi, we would still <laughs> have it in our claws. <laughs> <laughs> Alex watched RRR and thought it was a horror movie. No! <laughs> They're stealing the girl back! <laughs> <laughs> She's ours! It's a tragedy. My little caged bear. <laughs> it's a tragedy, that film. A uh, three-hour well, tragedy. Can Asians survive for one year without eating rice? I don't think I could. So, here's yeah. here's, I'm not here's Asian. something that surprises me is that like there are periods of history where people like just eat rice yeah, for sure. like a very long like time. Generations. And <laughs> I cannot believe it. Rice I mean, is good. Rice is kind of like if you could just season it. I have like so rice. many flavors every day. No, we're we're living in, you know. Uh, you know, we're living in flavor times. country. Yeah. yeah, flavor town. Yeah, yeah. We're in New York City, baby. We're in New York City. We got everything New good York. here except Mexican food. Oh, but besides spice. that, everything else here is pretty goaded. Which is crazy because there's so many Mexicans here, and yeah. yet, what? What? I, well, I, who knows how this works? We didn't get the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is a safety school they city. Tri- <laughs> they trickled all the mid ones out from the south. Um, anyway, back to can anyway, Asians back to this sort of racism. <laughs> uh, the yeah, other the wrong racism. Wrong Let's racism. get off of that. Boston is actually. Chinese and Puerto Rican, yeah. so we're covered on every direction. You guys are yeah. good at everybody. Uh, but also, well, so he can make question. fun of Mexicans. He's well, Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trained to since birth by my sweet. Sorry, mother. anyway, I don't mean to interrupt you. Could you uh, survive no, without I just, rice? It's funny because as you guys have brought up, like I'm pretty sure we all eat rice now. <laughs> it's not I love like rice. A, it's not just like an Asian thing anymore. We all eat rice. I'm addicted yeah. to this stuff. It, um, it's like potatoes. It's like a superfood. Kind off of thing. Mike Lawson was saying that this sounds like a Mr. Beast challenge. <laughs> yes, it would be a great one. I brought in ten Asians. See which one of them could go a year without eating. rice. <laughs> if I'm they see- make it a year, they get a million dollars. I'm that seeing him rock. make the face. I'm seeing him make the face when I close my eyes. That's awesome. The second place gets this Toyota Camry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Beast. Um, okay. I would love that for that to be a real show. Mr. Kind of yeah, that would be Just great. Just like, give me Mr. half Beast. of the whatever you make. That's a great character. <laughs> Racist Mr. Beast. <laughs> Mr. Racist Beast. I brought in 10 black people to see if they would rob this <laughs> oh, one guy. No. <laughs> oh, if no. they don't rob him, they get money. Okay, oh, Mr. Boy. Beast. All right. <laughs> I broke, Mr. Into, Beast. I broke into the mayonnaise factory <laughs> to see if your mom's there. <laughs> I gave these 10 Puerto Ricans a knife to see if they knew how to use it. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is the whole thing about sure. Mr. Beast is that yeah. money is always on the yeah. line. Yeah. These are just like racist, moneyless sure. challenges. Can these ten Jews solve the Holocaust challenge? We what put is them the in Holocaust camps. challenge. Exactly. We've reinvented the Auschwitz camps. So can they escape? <laughs> can they escape Auschwitz? Can, can they That's a challenge, Jeremy. Is that so different from doing real life Squid Games? I mean, bro, yeah, he did do real life Squid Games. He did. I mean, I think over a long enough period of time, like if Mr. Beast like was immortal, mm-hmm. we would definitely get is. there. We would get to the point. He's just injecting his cash output into his is prolific. Yeah, yeah. He, he would run out of ideas at some point. He must have an IQ of at least two hundred ten. Yeah, two hundred ten at least. Yeah. He wrote that question six years ago, and someone said, "I don't know, start a YouTube," and now mm-hmm. he did. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty clouded now. I don't know, count to a million, and he did that. Yeah. <laughs> That's his first big video. He counted to like a hundred thousand. Wait, really? Yeah, it's like a thirty-hour oh. video. It's just him being like. One, two, three, four. Well, he's, he's got like, that golden voice. He watched One Piece during it, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's that hilarious. would really be distracting for me. Like, I, I think I'd lose count, probably. Yeah, I would. That would suck at the start I'd over. be too busy. <sighs> Can Asians survive for one year without eating rice? The answer is yes. Let's Next question. Turn to the supply. <laughs> Reply. The answer is yes. We still have noodles, baby. You didn't think of that, did you? Uh, There's a big picture racist. of dumplings. Yeah, we still get dumplings and noodles uh, and rice dumplings? noodles, bitch. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, the many people very... in northern China do not regularly eat rice, if at all, in a remote area. This is not answering the question. It's more of a southern China <laughs> thing, I think. Yes, Could I do they think survive? So. I'm an Indonesian myself, and in, and Indonesia is a rice-eating nation. This is a very funny question because it's like, oh, if only there were two billion people alive who could answer it. <laughs> <laughs> if you asked me this question more than 10 years ago, I would probably have said no. But in the past 10 years, I have learned to reduce my rice consumption. I am now comfortable in eating other staple food like potatoes, bread, and pasta, for example, instead of white rice. Therefore, I am ready to take this challenge. Should there be one? This I hope this answers your question. Everybody thinks Mr. Beast is getting involved and in then this. This person he, fucked up food pyramid. He has <laughs> a fucking like, cell phone picture of spaghetti <laughs> on a paper plate. And then his qualification is lived in the Netherlands. Yeah. My money real good. Look at okay. the spaghetti I got. Very cool, dude. <laughs> I eat all kinds of grains now. I'm that just I've a grain man. <laughs> I'm a degrain man. I'm, I may be even better than Goku. Yeah. I love this because it's just like people who are um, they just love to give their little stories like this guy says yes I'm fully Japanese I was born there and grew up there however at the age of eight I went to a boarding school in the UK it's just like what, what are you talking about well they'll teach you not to have rice yes, there. That's basically people what selling for this racist question is giving me life as the kids say like people <laughs> just answering this like for face value everybody yeah. just wants to chat <laughs> it's true <laughs> Uh, okay, let's read another one of these. Oh, we're out of um, we're out of intel questions. Yeah, Aww, uh, let's man. see. What, Thirty-six. Okay. Um, blah blah blah. Let's see. Oh, do forbidden knowledge. I found some good ones. Okay. Um, let's do this one. Welcome to forbidden knowledge, the the quarter segment where. What? You can't ask that. That's forbidden. The context here is that there's an actual segment on Quora called Forbidden Knowledge, where people ask questions. Okay. And um, we just think that's funny because it's clearly not that forbidden. Yeah, you can share it a little bit. Come like on. they cut out like it's like the back of the video store where the porn yeah, is. Yeah, like, like hey, oh. go through the beaded curtain. It's pretty yeah. much there's a beaded curtain. Ask you if ghosts are curtain, real. Okay. Um, but these are just random questions that we thought are appropriate for that segment. So this the, one, the wording this on really this good. one, real good. I don't believe that the Americans walked on the moon. Must I be despised for de- denying that fact? Must I be despised? Must I be despised? Must I be despised? Must I be despised? Oh, sorry that I don't believe in the moon landing. So the question isn't about the moon landing. It's about no. whether he should be despised. No, yeah. The que- we don't must. even talk about the moon landing. <laughs> just, okay. just, because that's not the question. He's not saying, is the, did they light on the moon? No. That's, no moon landing. that's his prerogative. Fuck he does him. not believe must in the moon I landing. Must I be despised? But must I be despised for it? I don't think this person has to be despised. Do they have to be despised? Sure. I mean, you this can. Is like, it's understandable I, why many might despise I'm not a you. huge fan of America, so I, maybe I'm a little biased. You don't think <laughs> that they should walk on the yeah. moon? I mean. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't think it's I'm American God given right to walk on the moon I think all the I'm time? The wrong person to ask Wait, for what this, do like... you like about America? I it's mean, such a cool place. It's pretty, you know. Lawson <laughs> kind of thinks the moon should be left alone. That's a lot of it. That's really, yeah. I'm just sick of people walking I think it should it. belong to Britain. <laughs> that's, you know, Absolutely. What is, that's very brave of you to say in The crown. <laughs> the jewel of the crown. <laughs> Finally, the British monarchy has stolen the moon. The moon. Um, this was their plan for the <laughs> year. I, so, I, I like that this question is like a classic case of like um, people who uh, shouldn't go to therapy. You know what I mean? Because it's like someone who has taken the language of therapy to be like, I think the moon landing is fake, and that's my truth. That's so my maybe, truth. Maybe you shouldn't hate me for my beliefs, <laughs> Must I my be religion. I Must I be despised? We've been collectively gaslit by mm. thinking that there was walking around on the moon when that that baby sure. is pure pristine up there. Give it so a pat. much for the tolerant moon believers. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'd call it pristine. There's a bunch of, a bunch of craters and shit in it. Yeah, they're, but they're pristine From craters. Rocks. They, they've, That's true. they've got like a good sheen on them. Yeah. I've never been there. Wait a second. One small step for a man. I don't know anyone who has. Actually, no Americans have. No, yeah, it's true. Is what yeah. I've heard. Um... I like that's also the specificity of that. I say uh, no. I say you don't have to. Despise so does he believe that. like he, so they're cool with other people being on the moon, just specifically not Americans. <sighs> Yeah. That's where they they like the line. Russians. Yeah, you're cool they, that. they like that show. What is it? Uh, For All Mankind. Have you heard of this show? No. On Apple, it's like a what if history show where like 
the Russians land on the moon. Oh, first. I did hear about this actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did hear about. Oh that. no! What happens? It's, it's honestly. It's, it's so, all downhill it's from all there. there. It, it creates like a bigger space race. It's a uh, very corny show. Yeah. It opens with like these people watching TV and like there's a moon landing, but instead of the Americans, the Russians walk out, and oh. all the Americans are like, "Oh no!" Oh. And the Russian yeah. guy, he walks out, and you think he's gonna say like, you know, one small step, but he walks out, and he's just like. I take this step on the moon for <laughs> Marxist Leninism. No! And they're all like, I'm going to kill oh. myself. My left foot is for Comrade Stalin. <laughs> it's really funny. As I stomp on the face of this wretched moon. <laughs> yeah, I like that he gets Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, yeah. The thing is, the Soviet <laughs> Union had so many more minorities than people realized. Yeah. It's kind of this urge point. to kind of brush it uh Paint it with a brush of uh, right. Slavism yeah. and just say it's all Slavs. When 15% there's fifteen percent Scottish. Got it. Exactly. The Scots are pretty much doing all of the moon stuff for the Soviet Union. If you could change your fucking fates, <laughs> would you still put a Russian on the fucking moon? <laughs> if you could change, you went on the fucking moon, would you? <laughs> I haven't killed any human beings, but for the six Nazis. <laughs> Come on, I, hiccup. <laughs> Fly a dragon to the fucking moon. Communist Scottish man is the, <laughs> the deepest character we've come up with. He's on. He's he's on the the uh, podium today with uh, Twitter pirate, but I don't yeah. think he gets, he gets the gold. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, he's not. He's Unfortunately, uh, you 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 do not have to despise. This oh, we have more to this me. question, by the way. I didn't Ooh. even read his. Uh, okay. No, this is the answer. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Well, this guy says, no one has ever walked on the moon. That is an actual fact. Twelve Americans landed on the moon, left their capsules, and stood on the moon's surface. They ventured away and did experiments, but they didn't walk on the moon. They hopped or shuffled. Walking requ requires one foot to be in contact with the surface at all times. That was impossible on the moon. I think... You should kill yourself. No, no, come, come on. on. I <laughs> hate you. He hopped and he shuffled. That's a good answer. That's not right. <laughs> Jeremy. Killing spree. It is a killing spree. Uh -huh. Where's uh -huh. the gunshot? You don't know where anything is. I don't know. This is why I know where the gunshot is. There you go. I knew it was that button, though. Yeah, it's there's a lot of... It's, it's harder than it looks. Yeah. This person has surrounded themselves with people who encourage that type of behavior. And I say, you need new friends. <laughs> yeah. I really don't like Why this would you person. write something like that? <laughs> why um, would you? You never actually walk on the moon because you're wearing boots. Uh, so the boots walk on the moon. It's not walking because well, they were. Happy. Lawson, you say that, but it has 2.6. A thousand upvotes. Fuck all those people. You know, let's see those the comments. Good I bet people. you, I you know bet know you every go? comment is like, I want to suck your balls. God, you're so fucking smart. <laughs> well, How you can't give them Reddit gold. Can you give me your cum? We're, yeah. we're done giving can people I, gum for, cum for you, the day. Can I boil your cum? <laughs> can I freeze it? Every time you bring up cum, you got to put a penny in a jar. Okay. Um, someone, Captain Fantastic says, thank you for sidestepping this ridiculous question with a true yet snarky answer. Thank you, Captain that Fantastic. Person, what a great person that person is. Yeah. This is what the internet's all about. I despise that person that answered that way more than the original poster. Is that... Must they be despised? <laughs> so it says, Must I hate this website be. so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's doing important work. Let's let's really? do the next question on Can here. You imagine ones. going to Neil Armstrong and being like, um, you know, like you're doing a and a and you're like, uh, what was it like walking on the moon? And he tells you, and he's like, hmm, interesting. Actually, you never walked on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you hopped. Trick you question, hopped. Neil. You stupid do, bitch. Do, do we skip one of these? Or no? I, I, yeah, you cut to the oh, Okay, okay. But this is an important one, and I want to make okay, sure it gets covered it. on the program. This is actually in Forbidden Knowledge. Yeah. Should I get it, emails for these, so I, I knew which ones are good to put in here. Should I be a theistic Satanist? I'm only 13, but I feel connected to Lucifer. I talk to him, and he understands me more than the other gods. Now, 13, these are such good questions 13, to send to Alex. I, 13 must be a little young. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. In Jewish law, you're a man. But like Lucifer that. doesn't exist. If Lucifer is talking to 13 year olds, he's grooming, which he's allowed to do because he is Lucifer. Lucifer. I like that he says theistic Satanist. Like, that's how I would talk about, like, when I wanted to get into an RPG game and being like, hmm, do I want to go, like, Hunter Night Elf? <laughs> 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 the stat bonus for theistic athe Satanist is really interesting. I just don't know if atheism matches my build. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how could you not be a theistic Satanist, right? Isn't that the whole point? I don't know. I guess it could just be committing sins but not believing in a devil. Oh, that is, that's the biggest sin and of all. And that's a real fuck you to an just about everybody. Satanist? So first of all, stop sinning all the time. You yeah. got to stop sinning. It's not that kind of show. What's your favorite sin to do? 
uh, lust, Fellas, lust, what's your, lust? That's I'm a good always one. lusting. You can tell I'm doing when I'm doing it too because I'm doing this. I'm rubbing my hands together like oh, Zorak. Yeah. I'm like, hey, hey. Uh, Yo, yeah. you guys ever? I like uh, coveting. You guys ever covet thy neighbor's wife? Yeah, <laughs> I like. I, I'm a big coveter. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I be See, it's kind of for fun, me. It's isn't? all about murder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, you really wear that on your sleeve too. Mm. <laughs> That's what I always liked about you. It's either vanity <laughs> or murder for me. Okay, that was the big two. They're very different. <laughs> <laughs> they are not similar. Vanity and murder. Pretty far apart. Um, well, anyway, what should about this he be a year theistic old? Satanist? This is like so. It, it, he's talking to. They're, they're talking to Lucifer. Like Lucifer is like a thirty-year-old pop punk musician. Where they're just like people say I shouldn't be connected to Lucifer, but he understands me so much more than the other gods. He just I, gets me. I only feel like myself when I'm listening to Lucifer's songs. I loved his mixtape. Um, Lucifer wants to meet my parents. Let's see what the the forbidden knowledge community has to say. So the first answer is from okay. Grumpus. Yeah, you want to read that one? Okay, Grumpus says, "Nah, just be you." Labeling Yo. yourself as this or that restricts you from becoming the best version of yourself, which is like really positive for yeah, him. Yeah, that's great. That's that. pretty based. That Grumpus, you're really thank you for setting this child's right. Grumpus. And B, if you look into the history of the use of Lucifer, I suspect you might be using the modern version. Lucifer mm. is just the Latin Vulgate. True. Indeed, is even used to refer to Jesus. Bars. I get. I guess just. Drop the labels in theology and find your path. Oh, my God. I, I haven't labels. seen anybody in Forbidden Knowledge talk like yeah. this before. Usually they're just like, that is a wrong summoning circle. You're likely to hurt yourself. This is written by Lucifer, who's just like, let's not put labels on this. Yeah. Yeah, I see Lucifer is kind of like a 90s stoner keep it, character. You're getting clean, keep it like a bro. casual thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're getting so Need clingy be... with Lucifer, who I'm not. No, I'm definitely not. Wait, we got a good one. Fenris Wolfenhout. <laughs> Says, not at your age. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I, immediately, like, a kind of like, okay, yeah, this guy I agree with. Yeah. And then he goes into. I strongly suggest studying angels. All they right. will help you better understand which guardian is speaking to you. What you call Lucifer could very well be Samael, Uriel, or someone completely different. That's true, actually. It's always best to know the proper name of the guardian before you commit yourself to a specific ritualistic religion. That's really true because you don't want to end up talking to Uriel. It gets this gets very Diablo esque real quick in here, and well, I, I mean, am loving it. That's I mean, what Diablo is, right? It's the devil. We gotta look out I'm for our kids sure. being catfished by angels. Mm. I don't know That's if the, the worst. I don't though. know if the Blizzard Diablo. Is you think you're talking to Beelzebub, then it's fucking Gabriel, and you're like, isn't Diablo? Lawson, it happens all the time. It's the worst, bro. I hate it. Is Di I've never played Diablo. You've been playing it. Yeah, I've been, yeah I've been playing. Isn't Diablo like the devil, like the main boss of those games? Well, yes. Usually, I don't think he is in the newest one. But the thing is, like, I think it's kind of like here's Diablo. We all know what he is, but yeah. like. I'm not sure if in the game he's literally the devil so uh, much as like a big scary monster that red. like kind of fills in the devil thing. Like I don't know who owns the patent on the devil. He doesn't have goat it's, hooves it, and a big cock. Yeah, no, he do, uh, well, he wears a lot of armor. Really, it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Um, I just I don't know who owns the patent girthy. on the devil. It's probably like a serial company or something. Sure, they're like yeah, he's not yeah, technically yeah. the devil. He's Diablo, right? right. Because Kellogg's owns the it's, devil. It's, yeah. it's Gus from Recess. We're not trying Deep to sell cow. any cereal here. That's for like four people. <laughs> Does he become good. the devil in that? His nickname was El Diablo. Oh. Dodgeball. <laughs> we try to get as as much Recess discussion <laughs> as we can on here. I like when he doesn't wear glasses and he calls himself Guy. Yeah, good out, oh, man. This is a That's recess podcast. Great show. We need more. What do you guys think of Spumoni? You think she's got what it takes to uh, rule is, the school? Who is? Is she better than Goku? I think she's got more attitude than Goku yeah. in that way. Did you mean Spinelli, by the way? Whatever. I couldn't think of another character's name. Spinelli. Do you know how long it's been since I've seen Recess? It's been 25 Three years. Three months. <laughs> yeah, right. my kids, you uh, know. Um, One of those last two forbidden sure knowledge ones. Resource. Yeah, we can just take the. For, oh wait, but romance might be pretty good. No, let's we'll see if those. Romantical. Later. Okay, uh, this question is also forbid uh, forbidden. What happens to elderly people? No one knows. That's the end of the question. Yeah, what happens to elderly people? <laughs> okay. They meet Diablo. Like, yeah, I mean that's not necessarily the same thing true. that happens to everything else. Said Storm. What happened twenty years to ago? Else? We die. We all no, die. No, no. We all die. What? what Lawson, are you you're bringing the show down. Oh, I'm Lawson, sorry. Don't say that. I'm sorry, fam. I think uh, I, they like. <laughs> what is this question? 
<laughs> the wrinkles? What are they talking about? They lie about? down. They, all <laughs> kinds of things happen to they elderly people. They get shorter. They yeah, they get they they <laughs> become shorties again. Gray hair. Like, That's kind of like you know the riddle like walks on four legs in the morning mm. and two legs. In We've the referenced this riddle so many times. Well, this. I still haven't solved it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the like, K's on a fucking leg. That idiot. is the Sphinx's the Sphinx's riddle, I think, right? Yeah, that's one of the Sphinx. That's um. By oh, the way, shout out to the, the Sphinx, dude. We love the Sphinx on this. The podcast. Sphinx has so much knowledge. Yeah, the font of knowledge. <laughs> um, yeah, elderly people they they become shorties again. Mm. That's, that's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. They start shorties and they to shorties they return. Yeah. The older you get, the faster time goes. That's true. For the elderly, they're basically like the Flash. Yeah. They're, they're just ba- moving super quick. <laughs> they're they're basically the like force. the Flash. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we have any good answers on this? Um, let's see. What it's mostly just a powerfully elderly? worded question. It really is. I, I doubt that. I mean, it's mostly just going to be people being really mad, I feel like. Yeah. That is the big question that everyone worries about eventually, no matter how rich or poor you are, no matter how healthy, social, active, and organized you are. None of us knows what's really going to happen. See, no one knows. Mm. No one knows what happens to yeah. them. This is just a sad like we can story ask them. about a woman with Alzheimer's. I don't want to read that. Oh, yeah, boo hoo. <laughs> I can't remember my son. These are all just like stories of people dying. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, that's uh, in this case, some of them die. You know elderly people are alive, right? People who are answering this question. <laughs> All right, here's it takes one. is one of them to not die for it to be like a sometimes <laughs> thing. Paul Belt says a wide range of things happen. I'm aging, not elderly. Next. Never mind. I don't want to read the rest of it. I don't want to know what happens. Fuck off. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> I'm not elderly. Let me answer. Shut the fuck up. Ooh. I'm not Asian, but here's what I think about Rice. Thank oh. you. That's why Alex and I didn't answer that. <laughs> Yeah, I sat my white ass down and listened. You're going to get thrown one. in prison by Judge Lawson. <laughs> this is Rule of Lawson. All right, we got one more of these. We got one more of these. Okay. Here we it, go. It, it comes to the year after Casa Serrano. Oh, this is a very relevant question, what we've been talking about I think day. I put this in in July. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. We've been avoiding we this We were one. really talking about it a lot more in July, like the beginning. Yeah. But the question is, forbidden knowledge, why shouldn't you boil hot dogs? Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't you? What happens to elderly people? (laughs) (laughs) Who is better than Goku? Because you should (laughs) cook them in oil. Why must I be despised? (laughs) (laughs) Um, you shouldn't boil hot dogs. I think. I think this could be like a grilling situation because yeah, you should you grill, them? grill them. You should you should grill hot dogs. I'm gonna get the out in front of this. You shouldn't boil hot dogs though. Of course, is that you should be using that energy to boil your semen and selling it on the streets. <laughs> I hit that button, but I'm really upset. Someone in the Discord recently said that the podcast should just be the soundboard. That it shouldn't be me and Alex. It should just be the noises. I think they well, could be gonna, onto something there. I'm gonna read the questions though. <laughs> That's, That's pretty good. I like that. Objection! So, uh, first of all, I just want to get in front of this and say I've never heard not to boil hot dogs. It's not as good to it, do. You, it doesn't it, taste it as doesn't good. It doesn't taste as good as grilled. But yeah. Yeah, they're kind of slippery in a way, aren't mm, they? Yeah, they are. Yummy. They're, they're, squ- I, I picture them squirting out of my hands when I think too. of them. Down a hallway. <laughs> you got to put them in a bun. And down a long hallway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, well, just being go. gross again. There they go. <laughs> what do you mean? Slips on your I hands. can't take you to anywhere. My kitchen's next to my hallway. Is that a crime? <laughs> Jesus. That's Can my, I live? That's judge New, Lawson. <laughs> New York City living. Whoop. They just, my, Can my, I get like a judge sound on here? Let me see. A judge? Is there a gavel sound? Gavel? Objection! That's that, that's, that is yeah, basically it. Yeah. I forgot we well, had that when I made that. For the that listeners, my dad, my dad myself. is a lawyer. Is that true? <laughs> that's that actually is you, true. You're dating he right a, now. He was a lawyer when my mother conceived me. Judge Lawson. <laughs> that's great. Actually, that is fucking great. That's just a, ba- a begging. Sound. I'm so glad we got that on the show. <laughs> it sounded good though. Uh, it sounded right. It had the cadence. Sorry, why shouldn't you boil hot dogs? Uh, this guy says, I don't know. Sounds like a communist plot. See, he's just being sassy, though. Honestly, though, if that's true, like, if right-wing people think that you should boil hot dogs, like, let them have that. Let them I'll have just, that. If you're Latino and I'm you're boiling a hot grill. dog, you're a fucking disgrace. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> wow, right. yeah. Where is this coming from? <laughs> <laughs> grill the fucking thing. I don't you're know. a wild, <laughs> you're a loose cannon, Lawson. <laughs> Can't ask you anything. Give us your badge and hot dog. He's always going racial with it. <laughs> I'm just 
Why can't I boil hot dogs? That's that's just, let me talk to Latinos for a second. <laughs> you're the fucking thing. We don't, I know you have a grill. Lawson, don't listen to him. Every episode we start a sentence with, if you're Latino. <laughs> Throw that on the <laughs> Only Latinos Yo, understand Latino. the, the <laughs> hot dog Latino. question. Latinos, listen and you're up. Boiling a hot dog. Asians, here. quiet down. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, well, oh, oh, oh. If you're Asian, it's fine. <laughs> Why shouldn't you boil hot dogs? This is an answer from Todd Williams, food eater since 1971. Why shouldn't you boil hot dogs? I beg to differ. I think you should boil hot what dogs. What the fuck? Until recently, I'd always grilled my dogs over an open flame. They'd always look so nice Hell yeah. when I first removed them from the grill. But a few minutes later, they'd end up looking withered and sad. Not to mention my the mouth puckering salt All right, concentration. Todd, are you Latino? <laughs> Well, this motherfucker, this Todd motherfucker. Williams? It'd have to be nah. on his mother's side. Nah. This was uh, uh, until a few weeks ago when I tried boiling them for the first time. Wow, boiling was so much better. But there's no what? I what hate are you this. Talking about? They no. were nice and plump and retained that snap you hope for when biting into a dog. No, but they taste like fucking water, you weirdo. What is yeah, wrong don't with do you? That. That's and, and he up. talks about boiling it for like a while after. I don't think we're gonna read the whole You're thing, but I think it's nice maniac. that some people enjoy boiling them. No, this is this person. Some a people menace. enjoy. Boiling I like them. This person's a menace. Let's do one funny one and then we'll okay. end here. Okay, here. Let's find our first funny Th- this one. This one was yeah. sent in by Little Miss Headass, and the question is, why didn't... Oh, I'm sorry. The 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 segment is Quora MD. We don't have that one. Oh, yeah, it's on the board. <laughs> the segment is Quora MD. Oh, it's not so easy, is it? Wait until oh, I'm pulling Alex can't it up. find the segment sound. Oh, no. And it's Quora MD, where we answer all of the medical questions. Don't go on your phone. <laughs> this is important. Sorry. This is Quora. You're right. It's disrespectful. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna no, find out about your medical damn stuff. Phone. I didn't mean to. You're always blogging. <laughs> okay, wait, uh, anyway, right. anyway, that's it, that. I gotta stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the X and it didn't do it. Um, okay, so the question <sighs> is. <coughs> yeah. It's sent in by Little Miss Headass okay. on the Discord. Why didn't humans develop wheels? I wish we did. On our bodies, right? That's yeah. What? Yeah, on because our bodies. Because that'd be a fun conspiracy <laughs> if they just thought that there Must I wheels. be despised <laughs> for believe. thinking there are no wheels? There's never been wheels. <laughs> Why have we not developed wheels, like evolved wheels on our body? My well, family has a Flintstones car. Because we have to evolve a brake system? Uh, yeah, it's called freaking hands. I think I, I could evolve wheels. I like, saw, okay, so there's one answer on here about, like, how your flesh is all connected um, with tendons and blood and so forth. And so if you had wheels, they'd be all, like, torn up and shit every time it rotates. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. That and that there's up. no wheels in nature. Yeah. Right. Works. But I think there should be. We have, I, like, we have joints, though. Yeah, we have joints. We have, we joints. have joints. But they're not wheels. <laughs> yeah, wheels and I don't think anyone would argue that they are Can wheels. Can you imagine how nasty it would be to see someone with flesh wheels? Oh, ah, fuck. Yeah, it's, <laughs> instead of being we have wheels, we're just screaming all the time. Oh, God. Oh, no. Every time you go anywhere. <laughs> It could be made out of bone, I guess. Hills are a nightmare for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've evolved to have heelys in my feet. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that'd be so goaded. Yeah. Um, but why? I think it's like a like a level of sin kind of thing. Like yeah. we haven't reached a level of purity wherein we could have wheels. The thing is, like, so evolution happens over a very, very long time, right? So you'd have that's to be facts, like that's Jeremy. That's fucking facts. Fact. So over like millions and millions of years, people would have to choose mates who happen to have more and more wheel-like body parts yes. Yes. F- for some sort of like evolutionary advantage, right? which is very funny to imagine. Like, wow, I love how your feet are a little rounder than everybody else's. And no one's going to do that because Ooh. when it comes to wheels, it's all or nothing. Yeah, you exactly. That's what I'm saying. Or you're if you have like 3% of a wheel, you're dying. You don't have a wheel. You, you just have like a bad feet. Yeah, you're fucked up. He's got those semicircles you love to see. <laughs> yeah. That's for wheel for wheel. For <laughs> wheels. Folks, that's been the show. <laughs> it's not getting better than that. No, we have more to do, unfortunately. I mean, <laughs> we have to ask a question. 
Oh, that's true. Um, Do you want to read any more of these? No, out. right? I don't want to read no, any of these. No, the answers. answers are all about uh, biology okay. and stuff. Well, okay. Austin, do you have any questions for Quora.com? Uh, sure. As a famous um, judge. Yeah, I mean, just it's the whole internet can let me know. Um, so it has to be a little offensive or else we're not going to get lots of questions. Okay. Right, so the it listeners should, it should be directed see. towards Latinos. No. <laughs> <laughs> Latinos. Latinos. How many Latinos could take... Could be the hippopotamus. In a He's not going to be here no, for the next one. <laughs> it's just going to be us discussing Latinos. We book another that's Latino. A that's a good point. Um, it could also just be something on the lines <laughs> Two of like... Two in a row? <laughs> yeah, get it all in the next episode. Um, we could do like... How, if you're Latino, how do you eat? how do you like hot dogs? How do you like your hot dogs if you're Latino? Okay, if you're Latino... Okay, okay. Is it wrong for Latinos to eat hot dogs? If you're Latino... That's a good question. Sorry, what's up? How do you prepare your hot dogs? If you're Latino, what is better than Goku? <laughs> if you're Latino. Yeah. Please don't answer if you're not Latino. Yeah, don't answer. I don't care. I, I'm interested to know let's to do, try it. I think put it. it in. All right, yeah. Jeremy, put that in. I'm going to start closing out the show. Lawson, thank you so much for coming on to another fun-filled episode of Quora Raiders. Absolutely. It was my pleasure. Where can our listeners find you and your works? Oh, well, that's really interesting, uh, Alex. You can find me at Instagram.com slash Law Vanguard, and you can listen to my podcasts, the Talking Naruto podcast and the Ballin' Out Super podcast, wherever podcasts are found. Uh, also, the Leong and Leong, the Professionals Wrestling podcast, mm. with me and Katie Rose Leon talking about wrestling. And That's a mouthful. Can I say that? <laughs> it's the most marketable title in the podcasting industry, Alex. You put that into Google. Google says, good idea. <laughs> you just, it's the <laughs> pop-up shows up. <laughs> it's uh, the Professionals Wrestling Podcast for short. Um, and uh, that's it, I think. Yeah, that's it for, for ever. Before we end that's the podcast. That's it forever. <laughs> that's, that's a lot can I just say that Quoris has suggested we remove, please do not answer if you are not Latino, and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a, a very interesting arc where we are somehow booted <laughs> off of Quora. <laughs> it's like, do you want to remove this part where you're just being racist? <laughs> no. No, it's fine. It's good. It'll be fine. Uh, if you live in New York City, you must come to our live show. Our live show. I will hunt you also down like the, live the show. dog you are. Yep. Maybe I should have said this earlier, but um, people have been asking, like, are we going to put a video of the live show on, you know, the feed or whatever? And I want to say, A, yes, but... You know our track record. We could lose this video. It could be gone. There's no promises. Mm. So come to the live show because you might miss it. Yeah, every day is the best day of your life. Is the is the last is the it best day of your the life. the best time of your life. Okay, kisses. You can go.